Moment in Christ, our everyday encounter with the Word of God. Let's start with the Gospel of the Day. Gospel of the Day. Proclamation of the Gospel of Jesus Christ, according to Luke 5, 17-26. One day Jesus was teaching. Around him sat Pharisees and doctors of the law, coming from every village in Galilee, Judea and Jerusalem. And the virtue of the Lord led him to heal. Some men brought a paralytic on a bed and tried to get him in to present him. But, not finding where to introduce him, because of the crowd, they went up to the roof and through the tiles let him down with the bed in the middle of the assembly in front of Jesus. Seeing their faith, he said, Man, your sins are forgiven you. The scribes and Pharisees began to murmur, saying, Who is this that blasphemes thus? Knowing their thoughts, Jesus answered, saying, Why do you murmur in your hearts? Which is easier to say, Your sins are forgiven, or to say, Arise and walk. For, that you may know that the Son of Man has power on earth to forgive sins, he said to the paralytic, I say to you, Get up, take up your bed and go home. Immediately, before them, he got up, took up his bed and went home, praising God. Everyone was beside themselves, glorifying God and filled with fear saying, Today we have seen wonderful things. Prayer to Jesus for impossible, desperate and urgent requests. The heavens are full of your glory, my good Jesus. And we on earth love you and praise you. Jesus, I carry you in my heart, you know it well. I have you in my thoughts and in my feelings, you know it well. I keep you in my memory and I trust you, you know it well. Because you are my hope in the worst moments. And my strength and constancy in weakness. In my sadness, you give me the comfort I need. And when the shadows surround me. I find clarity in the bright light of your love. And because I know that you care for me with love. I place my worries and problems in your hands. Forgive me if I ever walked away from you. Forgive my faults, my sins, my shortcomings. Sorry if sometimes I forget to talk to you. And I only turn to you when despair invades me. Forgive me if in my attitudes, in my thoughts. I already offended you. Extend to me your infinite kindness and understanding. And be once more merciful to me, my good Jesus. For in you is mercy and forgiveness. In you beautiful Jesus are our triumphs and joys. Because you give us shelter and protect us. In you my complacent Jesus is our help. Because you fill us with love and bless us. For all this and for the intercession of your blessed mother Mary. I ask for help to get out of this precarious situation. Of these problems that I find impossible to solve. I ask you to listen to them and grant me your help so that they are resolved favorably as soon as possible. Ask for what you want to get with immense faith and confidence. Jesus my faith in you is great. In my enormous sadness and discouragement I call you with all my being and I give myself entirely to the designs of your will. I accept your meek, humble and sacred heart. And with all my being I ask you not to leave me without your protection and assistance. Jesus, way, truth and life. Today and always, keep walking beside me, my Savior. I will live in peace knowing that in your sweet hands. This is the solution to my problems. I leave my concerns in your condition as the Good Shepherd. And I deposit them in your heart of love and understanding so that you receive them and serve them as quickly as possible. I praise you, I bless you, I glorify you. And I thank you for everything you're doing in me. And you will continue to do it for your honor and glory. So be it. Pray five our fathers, hail Marys and glory to the Father. The prayer and prayers are done nine days in a row. 
Subscribe to the channel and leave your like, share this video with 7 more friends to help the channel bring this knowledge to more people. Thanks.